Good morning everybody, I am Sarah with the trains and welcome to this, my latest instalment of my series Travelling the Bittern Line. Today we're visiting a station that's undergone something of a restoration. Calling at Cellhouse, Hopeton and Roxham, Worcester, North Walsham, Gunton, Ralton Road, Cromer, West Ranton and Ditch Sheringham at 9.36. I've made it to Gunton Railway Station. Now before I get into the beautiful restoration that's gone on here, let's have a little run round and run down as usual of the station facilities. We have got a singular platform, some benches and some lovely planters. These seem to be a real theme on the Wherry and Bittern lines. We have got the accessibility ramp. Oh, and wouldn't you look at it, a sign for Gunton Station. Who'd have thought we'd find that here? Another bench. We've got three different colours of benches here. We've got that wooden effect one, the grey one and the red one. And of course, what little station would be complete without the bus shelter style waiting shelters. Over here we have got the help point. A nice working information sign. So been to plenty of places where the sign doesn't work. We also have an Amazon hub locker and now let's take a little wander out of the station and see what's out here. Well we've got the flappy plastic bin and some lovely information posters. Ticket machine of course Plenty of cycle storage, some of it is undercover. Oh, they have a sign of how to get assistance for your journey. I haven't seen one of these before. That's excellent. And uh, for anybody who needs to know, it says there is a passenger assist app by Transreport. That is some very useful information to have. Thank you for that, Greater Anglia. I haven't seen that elsewhere. Could you put it on all your stations, please? So I know we go on about accessibility when I come to these stations, but it is really important that everybody is able to enjoy train journeys and is able to access the stations. Um, here, the only access to the platform is step free, which is excellent. You've got that information sign, which tells you how you can get assistance with using the trains, which I haven't seen before. Greater Anglia, please put that at all your stations and uh, other railway companies, please follow suit. Bloody hell, the see it, say it sorted thing just came on on the platform. I absolutely watered it myself. I thought somebody was shouting at me. <sighs> that is the one problem with the quiet, tiny little stations. <sighs> I'll get my heart rate down to normal before I continue. Right, out here we have got the station car park. And over here, we have what seems to be an allotment and somebody is selling uh, flowers and kindling. So if you're interested, come on over. In terms of the history of Gunton Station, um, there isn't actually a place called Gunton. The nearest village to here is Lower Street. The station itself was opened in 1876 by the East Norfolk Railway at the instruction of Lord Suffield, who had stakes in the East Norfolk Railway. And as you can tell, he was kind of a bigwig. Um, although he probably didn't wear a bigwig because they'd gone out of style by 1876. The station was named Gunton because it was built to serve his Gunton Park estate. And it really did uh, 
have a bit of a uh, posh feel to it shall we say because it had a reception area specifically for royal guests visiting Lord Suffield at Gunton Park. It's even rumoured that the future King Edward VII, who back then was the lowly Prince of Wales, actually um, had some liaisons here with uh, Lily Langtree, his mistress. Although whether those stories are true or not, we don't know. Now that I've given you the run round and run down of all the features and the history of Gunton Station, let's take a look on the other side of the line to see the beautiful restoration that's taken place here. Now the station building was bought in 1989 from British Rail by a chap named Stanley Hearn who turned it into a private residence. And not only that, he's restored it to a beautiful state. As you can see you've got that gorgeous bench, you have got a sign for the Royal Lynx Hotel in Cromer. You've got barrows, you've got luggage, there are adverts for Coleman's starch and Coleman's mustard because they're uh, local Norfolk businesses, well they were, um, and the sort of signs you would expect to see at somewhere like the Heritage Railway at North Norfolk. You've got the beautiful old fire buckets. I, I love the sort of romantic charm that they've got. You've even got a sign over there for the gentleman's toilet. And what more can you want than that? This really is a fantastic job that he's done. Down here you even have a mock-up of a locomotive with wagons and down there you've got a beware of trains sign. It's really a spectacular. Needless to say all this restoration did not come cheap and if the articles I've read have the decimal point in the right place cost about £300,000. That is some serious dedication. And quite rightly, Mr Hearn got a National Railway Heritage Crafts Award for his work. I am absolutely blown away by the attention to detail. I mean, even down to the frosted doors. I don't. Did we appreciate those enough? I don't know. Let's look. Look at that. Those beautiful frosted doors. And that luggage sat next to it. It really gives it the feel of an old railway station, which is of course what it is. Now that we've explored the facilities, the history and the beautiful restoration, let's have a little walk outside of the station. On this side of the bridge we have got these steps that lead up to what is the garden of the old station building uh, and there's a little sign up there don't know if you can quite see it let's zoom in it says private no access to trains because I'm sure some people have probably tried to get up there to go to the station <laughs> Now, I don't really know where I'm going or I, there's not really much around here, but let's just walk along the road for a bit and uh, see what we get to. I have now turned around and I'm walking in the opposite direction because I have seen that there is a lovely open green space called South Reps Commons nearby and I'm hoping to get a couple of minutes there um, before I have to rush back to the station for my next train. <laughs> here we are, South Reps School Common Nature Reserve. Right, there's two public footpath signs. Which one do I take? I really don't know. Let's let's head 
to the right. Ooh, I think I chose right. There's a boardwalk. Jubilee boardwalk, it's called. Because, once again, I did not wear shoes for muddy conditions. Yeah, it's the same ones from when I went to the River Ouse. I found funky fungus. Right, it appears we have come out onto a road. Now there is a sign here for the South Rep Circular Walk and as much as I would love to do that today, I simply don't have time because I've got to rush back to the station for my next train. So let's go. And as if by magic, I'm back here at Gunton Station, ready to catch my next train to head off on another railway adventure. So there's just time for me to say thank you so much for watching. Thanks to everybody who likes, subscribes, comments. Special shout out to my generous donors on Kofi. And I think it's time for a last little look at Stanley Hearn's masterpiece that is the restoration of the Gunton Station building. Thanks everybody so much for watching.